Well, hello there, we're back. Peter and his uh, sister and mother are going to be going away on a little trip in a couple days. So um, he asked me if uh, there was something that, he'd, that, that I would like to do together before mm -hmm. they go, and um, he agreed that uh, picking up where we left off in fine-tuned was fine. Now, we sort of reviewed the video of the last couple minutes or so of what he did last time. So um, it's, been, it's been a while since we did this last, mm -hmm. this last one, but... Mm -hmm. um, I think Peter will be able to pick it up pretty, pretty clearly. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Should work to hit um. Shouldn't it work to hit X manuscript for examine? Why don't you try it? Very silly. Okay, let's uh, play with an imagine. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, maybe I better escort him back to the chest or wherever he keeps this. See. All right. Let's wander off and get lost just because it's a text adventure game. Here, can I take a save here? Good, good idea. Oh, 
called the guest cottage. Let's get lost first. languidly sleepily or lazily Oh, well, that's easy. After all, what are pumps for? Oh, silly me. Would my score have gone down if I had thrown the water on the cat instead of put it in the bird bath? Um, I don't remember. You can try it. There's probably more water in the pump. You know, unless I coated something not to make water come out after you've used it, but... You never know unless you try it.
Now, although that's disappointing, at least it doesn't give an error message, so. Is this Needlewood's house or another house? Uh, we are in the backyard of Singlewood's house. What's on your mind? What do you think you're supposed to be doing here? What are you I don't know. For? I'm exploring. Okay. When I was a kid and I played games like this, I always made a map. Mm. Are you able to keep the geography in your head? It's not very complex geography, and you're pretty good at stuff like that. Someone, I'm just trying to figure out how to get back to the Sneedwood's driveway. Okay. And... Something like that would uh, be easier if you had a map. A good thing about a map also is you can mark off which directions. Like, for instance, here it says there's a house to the west, the cottage to the east, and forks northeast in the side yard. If you drew a little box for where you are right now, and then drew lines going off east, west, and northeast, mm -hmm. you could make sure, sort of methodically, that you've used every exit from every room. And then as you flesh out the map, you'll be sure to find it. No, if you want to keep, if it's more fun for you to play like this, that's fine. I might make a map. Someday. You want to make a map? I just, I just someday. Oh, someday. Okay. I just didn't happen right. to bring a piece of paper with me. Well, interestingly enough, um, no, that one's already taken up. Those are your blimship drawings. I feel kind of guilty. There's an empty page right here, Peter. I mean, I don't want to force it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You seem to feel strongly about it. I could go get it. I, I should go get a pencil. All right. Uh, well, that works too. All righty. Okay, so what I usually do is I just draw a box wherever I am. Okay? And so this says, a clearing lies south, garden path leads southwest, another path leads northwest. Now, um... That's right. You're east of the house, correct? Which means the house is to the west. There's a little bit of logic and puzzling going on here. Just for the record, we will go to my second breakfast. Hee 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 hee. All right, that makes sense. Right of path, this is the yard. 
Why the artist joke, Daddy? Why not? Oh dear. This is a grassy stretch just east of the vine covered house, and the door appears to be locked, so I'll have to think of another way around. That is northwest. We drew. It says northeast. Oops, you see. drew a line to the northwest, so you've already made that connection. Sorry. From where me. we are right now, it says the front of the house is to the west. All right. So I front of the house here. All right. That should come in handy. Here we are. Okay. I don't think it's too terribly difficult to navigate his mansion. Let's try the hill. There we The line you really oughtn't to water around, wander around on other people's property without a good reason. Interpret that. Hmm. I can't. Does it say you can't go south? No, it just says I don't have a good reason. So I would suggest to you, perhaps later you will have a good reason. Since that message is not as definitive as a no, that's a hint. I forgot all about that silly sign. I like the British spelling. How do you pronounce that? I don't know French, so I have no idea. I looked all this stuff up on the internet. He, he's exposed me. I have no idea how to pronounce it. embarrassing. Hmm. Oops. Remind me. farther west on this thing out. This is why you use the full grid paper for things like Colossal Cave Adventure. Um, the, the microphone is actually in the computer, so when you tap oh, the computer, sorry. it makes noise. Oh dear. Let's see. So 
that's why the keys sounded so loud. Yes. You must be mad. Okay, so that's just part of the description then. Maybe I didn't understand everything seen to what was some um, question. Silly professor. Ah ha 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 ha. I like that joke. No mad woman. What what's a mad woman supposed to be? It's a convention of some literature that there's a mad woman in the attic. There seems to be no mad woman here unless, of course, well, never mind. Yes, that's a joke that I like. All right, that's pointless. I have a bad Actually, head. Peter, it is pointless. That's my daddy. All righty. Let's see. Maybe I maybe I should try exit. Start. Can't do it with my left hand. Exit. Top hatch. Exit. Ooh. Thought you said you didn't know anything about music. I don't. Then, well, you program Mel the Melody Sweet knows about it. Well, you program the game. Where did you learn about measures and things? I actually asked a student of mine. Her first name was Amanda. Gosh, what was her last name? I can't remember her last name. But I had a student who um, knew a lot about music, and she was in a class where I um, taught interactive fiction. And I remember just asking her um, you know, for some suggestions. Uh, and she, you know, told a lot of this stuff. Okay, I don't remember her name. I'm going to look up her name. Keep going. Edwardian. During the reign of King Edward, who came after Queen Victoria. Hmm. Early 20th century. They really name whole ages after kings and queens Elizabethan, Victorian, Edwardian, mm -hmm. Jacobian. Fullen. Amanda Fullen. F U L L A N. She's got a point. I like the joke about eight, eight full measures. If Melody Sweet can't sing that, that range, who can? I, I don't know. 
I did I did ask for something that would be pretty much impossible. Seven multiplied by eight equals fifty six measures. No, uh, fifty six note. Let's edit that out. Who's been taking piano lessons for six years? Slip of the tongue. Okay. That didn't or is happen. math the problem? <laughs> Please edit that out, sir. Uh, never mind. Where were we? Oh, yeah, locked. Oh, wait, would that be a... Uh, you didn't mention the time, so I don't know what kind of note you're talking about, or Amanda is talking about. Oh, well. He's amazingly convenient. Too Tweety. Tweed is a kind of cloth that pro stuffy professors traditionally wear tweed blazers, tweed jackets. So, you know, a little not interested in fashion. You know, Albert Einstein would wear a tweed jacket if he wore a jacket at all. Just, you know, somebody who is deeply involved in intellectual life can't be bothered with things like fashion. Tweedy is a, is a word that thinks, you know, a little square, a Clover's little stuffy. Egg. Plover's egg? What's a plover's egg? Uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of the egg that belongs to a kind of bird. That must make it a big emerald. Depends on how big the egg is. So, um, what is your emotional response to this porcelain art object, Peter? I was first. I was thinking probably whatever the last most poorly explained one would somehow allow me to unlock the rest of the puzzles. But you're losing me with the art here. Let me reread that power read. That's a bit of a run on. Are you trying to torture me by making me read that a second time? <laughs> well, I can't very well destroy or steal any of those artifacts because they're the professor's... Oh, letter opener. Idiot. So I know that works. That. Yeah. 
All right, I had to be careful. I, I guess I should have saved at that point because in, in games like Fallout, when you drop the objects, they're actually destroyed. Okay. Okay. Not an interactive fiction. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, don't drop a minigun in Half Life 2. Thank you. Go. Fallout. Rats. Anyways. I'm going to do a take two on that. We can edit out the first one. No. Okay. I'm actually quite proud of that little bit of misdirection. Okay, so the pot, does that qualify as the professors too? I don't worry about that. You're thinking of oblivion where you get punished for walking away with something that doesn't belong to you, since so far you have not been punished for picking up anything. Um, you can safely conclude that this game will not punish you for using things. Basically, when you're playing interactive fiction, if you can pick it up, do. Mad woman in the attic. I, I will give you a hint here, Peter, just in the interest of time. Uh, there is more in the guest cottage than the alcove where you filled up the pot. Oh, right. Okay. Alcove generally means a small room that leads into another room, so... But that was before you started mapping things, and this is a perfect example of why it's important to map when you play a game like this. Of course, I didn't check out the salon. Oh my, a very convenient trunk. It's your own trunk. Earlier on, Professor Snavelwood said his man Montgomery put your trunk in the room, I think. I'm not feeling like very ladylike in a not carry my luggage around take. So if the Edwardian era is in the past, where are we now? The game never actually says, but it's about 1913 or 1915, somewhere around there. That's when I said it. And World War I began in 19... World War I has not yet started in this game world, that's correct. Yeah. The world would be very different if World War I were going on. And there would be a lot more motor cars. It would make a... Mac, very sad. Let's see. Wood stove. Wood, not so far from your cat on the wood. Something's telling me I have to figure out how to get rid of that cat if I'm going to get the wood. Very but good. the problem is, I don't know what the wood is for. So I'm going to ignore that puzzle for the time being. Oh, why waste turns when I'm coming back? So, 
west, so that means I go east, north to get back. My, my, the paths, the paths, the paths. <laughs> Pack foliage away with better. I'll have to come back here with a chainsaw to get rid okay. of it. Okay, when you find a chainsaw, go ahead. Didn't put one in? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, so that, was that the reason I already went there? Wooded Hill rises to the south. Now I can go south. Oh, so I'm on the hill now. All right. I I tried to, you know, I tried to keep some of the um, geography. Okay. I tried to keep some of the geography limited so that you wouldn't wander around too far. But obviously, at this point in the game, you've you've found something, and now I'm opening up the geography a little bit. Two hundred ninety-seven. It's a lot of turns. Peter, and, I, yeah, and the DI, the text adventure uh, Get Lamp convention said that he thought 300 turns was a lot. You know, for Anoyatron, he said 300 turns in here. Look. Wait, let me see if I can just do house. No, he didn't think so, that's a verb. Better ninety nine. Three hundred moves. Divas. Uh, prima donna, the um, you know, self centered female performer. Honestly, professor. So did the letter opener exist only for that joke? Unfortunately, this isn't one of those oh-so-common letter opener shaped keyholes. <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, yes, that is the only purpose of the letter opener. Great. Anyone got a plan B? Well, you already encountered the puzzle and you've articulated what the puzzle, but you decided you didn't want to explore it. What was the name of the professor's helper again? Uh, Montgomery. Okay. Wait, oh. Alright, so I can't call him. He would be strong enough to push the trap door open, although we'd probably be crabby and suspicious because how many opera singers just happen to be playing a game like this where they get to wander around in another guy's house. I'll give you a hint, Peter. Deal with the cat now. Alright. Oh, that was a... Was a mm -hmm. But I stabbed the cat with a letter opener? You can try. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna sacrifice a point, shall we sing? So... Mm -hmm. Do they have insurance in these days? I think so. Yeah. I know they had investments. Ah. Sure. Ah! It's a display cabinet. I thought I'd open it. Idiot. <sighs> Same problem. You know, if only I had a crowbar in the game, then I could do that. <coughs> Here, I'm going to 
gonna try to smash display cabinet. If, if no, save here. Don't want to be a criminal. Save seven. I think that's right. Van vandalism. Okay, smash cabinet with with. Yes, yeah, smash the display cabinet. Imagine that I'm a wealthy officer. Ah, yes, it would be. I will hint again, Peter. The next thing you need to do is deal with the cat. Stab the cat, smack the cat, splash the cat, can't do anything to the cat, can't do anything to the cat, can't do anything to the cat, S repel the cat with a bad spelling, bribe the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember why I wrote that. <laughs> when did you start do doing this? When did I start? Gosh, probably. Uh, let's see. I remember Emily Short announced a romance interactive fiction competition. And I thought that I would bash this out really quickly. But I completely missed the deadline for that competition. And up doing this instead. Yeah. So that was probably... Wait, wait a sec. 1999, maybe? Oh. Maybe 2000? Okay. Let's try to throw everything at the cat. <laughs> throw letter opener at cat. Throw letter opener at Spelling for cat. No, wait. I will give you a hint, Peter. The next thing you need to do is not actually in this room. You did put the water in the bird bath. Oh. In that case, don't tell me. I've got an idea. Okay. What do you know about your character, Peter? There we go.
take nut pinch, whatever comes up with that. There we go. There, I can I can grab it from here, can I? What are you thinking now, Peter? About plots involving taking the nut finch, taking the nut finch, and more taking the nut finch. Did it work when you tried taking the nut finch? Nope. What does that tell you? That my thoughts are in vain. Okay, I can step. I didn't try throwing the knife at the nut finch, did I? <laughs> Take a stab at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait. You could let her rip. Save. Let her rip. Did you get that one? That was pretty good, actually. Whatever. Let me concentrate. Oh, step. come on. Let her rip was good. All right. All right. Fine. It Fine. was good. It Thank was you. good. Thank it you. was good. Thank you. Go oh, first. Cruelty. Wait. Save eight. No, but okay. I should stamp out these bad jokes. Uh oh. Did he even hear that one? I thought that was good. Got a problem with your keys. When I hit shift and do this, it doesn't give me a colon to give Save eight is enough. That's fine. Save eight. Animal cruelty. Okay. Uh, Max don't like colons in file names. Really? Yes. Then I got nut pinch. Too bad for them. Peter, it's not a knife. I thought he was talking about the nut pinch. Let her rip. It's a letter opener, and you rip the letter open with oh, the oh, letter duh, opener. Duh. <laughs> That's why it was so good. Mm, takes all the bite out of you. Happy birds, happy happy. Come on, there has to be some way to get that bird. Why do you want to pick it up? Because I was thinking since cats eat birds, and in Colossal Cave Adventure you can use the bird to get rid of the snake guards somehow or another. Uh, I didn't actually master the art, because if I even release the bird in in um in the room with the snake, it would eat the bird instantly and ruin all my chances of winning. Okay, so you're you're ba you're basing your strategy on your knowledge of convention in interactive fiction. I'm going to pick up That's the good. bird if I can, and I was trying to bring it back to the cat to use it as bait. Okay, but I can't grab the bird and I can't kill the bird, and I think cats would prefer dead bait. Okay, so if your goal is to get the bird in the same room with the cat, but you can't pick up the bird. I better take it. Sing. Okay, that sucks. Uh, try going back to the bird bath and singing again. A cozy little salon for you. At least you can do with the professors keep his artifacts safe. Huh? That's weird. Go, yep. go back to the bird bath. <laughs> that that should have worked. You're gonna need to tamper with the FN else blocks. Southeast. Sorry. Okay, 
so it's watching you with interest. Sing again. Sing. Or just sing, okay? Let's try one more time. Try singing one more time. Okay. Now go um, north, east, west. Northwest. Sorry. There you go. Okay. All right. So why didn't the cat attack the bird? Try examine cat. There you go. Okay. Okay, take firewood. Okay. All right, so uh, the professor is a salon. Um, is that in? Is that in the guest the cottage? Salon with the fireplace is in the guest cottage. All right, so far. another hint when you make the map is to write down the names of objects that you find there. Okay. I don't mind helping you. I understand that stuff. Um. I've been spoiled by mini maps in uh, games like Morrowind. Yeah, that's one reason why I'm telling you the stuff. I, I will be your mini map then. Mm, I like doing it mentally. Okay. I do it all the time in uh, first person shooters. And, um, you know, in in Half Life, I would actually uh, I would actually try to remember where everything I where I could actually remember where all the objects I found were, even in three dimensional mm -hmm. space, and I would. I remember I would find bizarre stashes where I'd put things I couldn't carry with me, so I'm, I'm kind of used to remembering where these things mm -hmm. are. I just have to think. Yes, I, I do think your generation, you particularly have a better sense of 3D space than, than I did when I was a kid. I mean, I have. You know, Shooting games have spoiled me. I had to pay attention, otherwise I got killed, so I guess. Mm -hmm. What's the word? I. Adapted? Good enough. <laughs> South, east, that's back porch, side yard, that's the trash, okay. clearing, east, oh no, So why would lighting the stove help me solve the rest of the puzzle? Try examining the artifact. I don't, I don't know if I should really scrape it, use it as a tinder or something like that. You could save the game and see what happens when you interact with the artifact. Save nine. Archaeological. Sac. Darn, how do you spell sacrilege again? L E. L E. S A C R E L I G E. S A C R. What? E. L I G E. Here we go. All right. Scrape artifact with. So it, won't let me, it must be a mission critical object. We had programming for that in Oblivion. Mm -hmm. Computer games and I go a long way back. Daddy, I always used to wonder how the hard drive of a computer worked. I used to be very confused because I thought that if-then-else blocks had to work with um, wires. So I kept thinking, how could you reprogram mm -hmm. a computer hard drive if it worked on wires? But then it hit me. It might just have millions, maybe tens of millions of little nodes that are small fractions of bytes. And by installing the if-then-else program, you'd only be telling them to send signals between one another and then back to different points so you could put memory in it that way. 
I got the idea from the dropship tutorial, but that's another story entirely. Yes. One that the viewers would probably be bored to tears with. Well, I don't know. But for now, let's... We'll, we'll tell that tale later. Okay, for now, we'll focus on this. Okay, um... What's the word for starting a fire? Kindle fire? Nah, kindling is a second second stage of ignition. Kindle fire. See, I thought that would work. What would you use to kindle fire? So you'd use kindling to kindle fire, and use tin and you use tinder to kindle okay. the kindling. What is kindling? Uh, by definition, it's a it's like fuel, but it's medium stage. It doesn't burn solidly with a lot of right. What's an example of good kindling? Dry grass. I could burn the program. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> well, one more time, let me examine coin. I, I like that joke. A monetary yeah. unit in the form of a small metallic disc. <laughs> All right, close purse. Uh, while you were walking around outside, Peter, there was something that you encountered that mm. would make very good kindling. Forest clearing. How could I t possibly kindle a fire with forest Keep clearing? walking around. You'll see it. Now that you're looking for kindling, you might see it. I really wanted to see something easier just to see it. Did I take a wrong turn? It's around somewhere. You've got a map. Just check well, every room uh, that you walk through. Just right. check every room out here. Side yard. Yard. Oh. Drat. Peter. Peter. Excuse me. Read that. No, I didn't realize. Read it, it out loud so the audience Dry knows. Dry leaves and twigs rustle under your feet. Whenever oh, anything they, they, they qualify as Tinder. Whenever anything in interactive fiction is on a line by itself, it's usually signaled as more. Important. Sorry, it didn't hit me. That's okay. In knowledge, okay. and you've walked you've walked away from that room, so you're not going to find it in the pleasant clearing. Okay. E. That's the clearing. This is the cottage, so I you know, scroll up and see your, your path. N E W S E R A W N Side Yard. Take boy, while he's right, it is getting late. You want to do any Mac chess before um you have other duties? Um, probably there won't be time to play a chess game. Well, I just have to play with myself then. Yeah. Well, you at least start the fire. So dry okay. leaves and it's a shame that there's always something left to do when when we have to start. Uh, st Stop these videos. Mm -hmm. Hey, you were the one who said that they could be taken as individual objects. Here, let me try take twigs. Take. It's okay, so it bought. Okay. Hey, maybe I could put some of these objects in my purse. <laughs> let me see if I can put the trunk in the purse. If you would like to. Open. Let's save nine. Just save. Save nine. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Let's call it Let me edit this out, I need to think for a minute. Okay. 
dry. <laughs> that's that's a stupid say, but I, I Adam out of time to come up with I'm dry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait, 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 open first. I did this in case I destroyed first. Put trunk in first. <laughs> 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 Let's see, 11 years of work on this, and you never get an idea of three-dimensional space. <laughs> okay, let's put the stupid sign into the purse. <laughs> oh, silly. Put artifact in purse. <laughs> All right, let's get go out. Go ahead, put the tin pot with the water in the purse. Go ahead, put the leaves and twigs in the purse. Go ahead. Nonsense. Wait, wait, I. Put the pot in the purse, Peter. Put the pot in the freaking purse. <laughs> if it makes you happy. Are you sure about this? Yes. Will it destroy the purse? I don't want it. <laughs> I doubt it. <sighs> I don't. Okay, let's wait, wait. Do inventory. Do we really need the newspaper clippings? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, amazing. You can edit this out. I'm not feeling like this fiction is terribly interactive right now. That's fair enough. Okay, well, let me get you a hint. You have everything that you need. Go back into the um, the room with the Enjoy. fireplace. I'm going to put the newspaper clippings oh, okay. in first. Boy, that's a mouthful. Jeez. Okay, so go back into the um, go back to the clearing, go back into the cottage, go back to the salon. Alright. Oh, that's easy. You're fine. The door only exists in the outside room. Just the way I implemented it in this game. Oh. This thing is gonna stop at nothing to torch me. I tried I tried to kindle fire without the thing, so I come back here and try to say light fire, so after all this and all my ideas are wrong, they even tell me to use the word kindle fire. By the way, dry leaves and twig uh, dry leaves don't count as kindling their tinder. Uh, the verb kindle was not implemented. Well, what good are the twigs now? Okay, Peter, you're in front of a stove with a flame. You've got a pot full of water. You want me to put it out after all our hard work? You could. There's something else that you can do with a pot of water when you're standing in front of the stove. Boil it. Boil it. Oh, so we, here, let's try to drop.
you haven't got it because it's in your purse. How interesting, the capital letter turned on. It must have known that you're getting frustrated and it helped you shout. Just take trunk will work, Peter. That was going a little too far. Okay. All right, All right Peter, wait, you've wait, got a pot. Wait, you wait, know where this wait. Take. You can edit this out. You can type take all. Well, I want the trunk to stay down. Okay. Yeah, I'll take all but trunk. Try that. Yeah, okay. I'm getting tired. Mm -hmm. Even took the freaking trunk. Okay, so what is your goal now? Are you just doing inventory management? Mm -hmm. Just like, wow. supposed to boil anything in particular. I guess I could make tea with it. Little brown flax. Give you any little hint? Did I just destroy the... Does it give you a hint about what you should boil? Mm-hmm. But it sounds ridiculous. Why would I want to destroy his artifact? Do you know for sure that boiling it will destroy it? Wait, one second. I'm going to go talk to him about giving me a very, very, very artifact piece of tea. I'll save your time. He's sleeping. You're on your own. Wow. Save. I'll just call it save. RKO. Drat you. I don't think I spelled it right that time. Okay. Alright, what? Is he going to come out and explain that he gave me tea and said that it was... Um... No. I know what happened. You saved the game. Couldn't hurt anything. I remember, Peter, I think you 
picked up the pot. I believe you're holding the pot now, so it's not actually on the flames. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's actually made of tea. No, I don't think it is. Take a look at the artifact. This needlewood is going to be very unhappy. Actually, don't. Don't restore. You're fine. You did not mess anything up. Peter, if his artifact is now caked with crusty brown sludge, what should you do to something that is caked with crusty brown sludge? To command it, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what? Four hundred sixty-six turns in, and uh, huh. okay, take another look at the artifact. I already did. Well, who is he gonna wake up now? He should have put a flag down for this. It's about nine thirty p.m. I don't think we'll have that much more time. To okay, you're looking for a break. Okay, you are very close to the end of this chapter, Peter. You want you want to finish the chapter or, or take a break? I don't know. How, how on earth would I finish this chapter? I I don't think Sneedlewood has gotten up, so I can't ask him about these. Okay. Wait, X. So there you go. That was the new detail that you didn't notice before. give you a hint. You, you finish the game in your salon. 
or you finish this chapter, I should say, in the salon. So I know it's late and I want to help you finish the chapter before we quit for the day. So go back into the salon. You go back into the salon, back into the guest cottage and then in the salon. You finish the chapter in the salon. That's correct, yes. So south, um, east, east, Peter, what do you know about your character? I teleported. Wait. Do I want to save it here? Okay, you see why I wanted to keep you playing for just another couple turns, Peter. Okay, you want to keep playing for a while or, or um, call it quits for the day? I think I may have to call it quits. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun.